Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I know it's been a minute. I've been MIA. I apologize for that. I've been so busy. It is crazy up in here. I had like parties here and there, little get togethers with my family and everything like that. So I haven't really had a chance to film. And a lot of you guys don't know this, but I do have a full time job that I attend to Monday through Friday. And let me tell you, it is pretty crazy. So my life is just like all over the place lately and I really don't have time to film. But I'm back. I have a new makeup tutorial for you guys. So I'm very excited. I did try out a couple new products here and there. So I'm very excited. Also, I do have a new background as you guys can see. I hope you guys really like it because I love it. Um, I just decided to do kind of like a navy blue drape down and... I did hang my paintings back on and I'm actually working on a new painting right up there. I'm not going to like show you guys, maybe that's just a little peek here and there, but I'm working on that new painting which I'm very excited because I feel like I've been a little bit stressed out lately so I just sat down the other day and I just started painting and yeah. So that's basically what I do when I just feel like I need time for myself and I just want to de-stress myself, I just paint. And yeah, these are all my paintings you guys. Um, Thank you guys so much. I know some of you guys have been really enjoying my paintings, my background, so I am happy that you guys like them. So yeah, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of my new background, if you like it or not. Um, I kind of wanted to do kind of like a fall theme because it's basically almost fall, but um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to change my background. Maybe I'll have something set up in another spot that's more fallish. And I'll do some fall videos for you guys. But anyways, yeah, so I did this makeup look tutorial for you guys. So if you guys want to know how I made it, then just keep on watching. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And give my video a thumbs up if you do like this video. That way I know you guys like it and I can keep making them for you. Alright guys, let's get on with the video. Nothing is way better in the morning than some good fresh coffee. I swear. I love it. Anyway, so today we're going to be starting off um, with the brows. I actually already moisturized my face. I used the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. I've been using this a lot lately and I actually do like it. The only thing I don't like about this is that it kind of leaves my skin feeling a little bit sticky which is fine I'm it's not a big deal for me but I think I definitely do prefer the original one the yellow um, dramatically different hydrating gel I think that's what it's called but anyway so we're gonna go ahead and start with my brows I'm gonna be using the Anastasia de brow pomade in medium brown and I'm gonna take this morphe brush it's from the rose gold collection I just really, really like that collection, and by the way, I do need to go to the Morphe store as soon as possible because I am running out of, like, good brushes. Um, some of my brushes are getting, like, a little funky already, and I just definitely need to go and pick up some good brushes, so hopefully I will do that very, very soon. Alright guys, so next I'm going to go ahead and take my concealer. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Um, I got this in the shade C10. I do think it's a little bit <sighs> darker than my skin tone and you'll see in a minute. I honestly, every single time I went into Ulta, I swatched it. I definitely swore I thought this was my uh, shade, but then I tried it on and I feel like it's a little bit too dark. But that's okay, I make it work anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply right here just so I can clean up my brows. And I'm going to use this as my shadow base. So I'm just going to apply that. And I'm just going to take a flat brush and then just kind of clean my brows with this concealer. And honestly, you guys, um, I really, really, really like this concealer. Um, I honestly thought I wasn't going to like it at first. Um but I love it. I honestly really like it. I, I don't even know where was I not trying this concealer before and now I'm obsessed with it. I definitely have to go back and get my uh, perfect shade because like I said, um, I thought this shade was going to be like so me. Every single time I would go to Ulta, I would swatch it and I would be like, oh, this is definitely my shade right here. But um 
I mean, it works fine, but I think I kind of like my concealers to be just a tad bit lighter uh, so they can brighten up my under eyes, but it works really good. Like, it cleans up my brows, like, perfect, and it works really good for, um, you know, acting like a eyeshadow base, so that's what I really, really love about this concealer, and it honestly lasts all day. It doesn't crease or anything, which is amazing so if you guys didn't know already Ulta is having their 21 days of beauty and what that is is that um, Ulta has a couple products go on sale for 21 days now the first day that um, you know the 21 days of beauty started they had the lime crime Venus palettes on sale now you guys are not gonna believe this I know it's gonna be shocking but I didn't have absolutely anything that has to do with like eyeshadows from Lime Crime. I know it's very shocking. I only own um, their liquid lipsticks, which I really, really like because they have like a ton of different shades and you know, I like it. The formula is a little bit drying, but I can work with it if I uh, moisturize my lips very, very well. So anyways, I went ahead and I picked up two palettes because I wasn't 100% sure, you know, if I was going to like the formula and everything. But their palettes are so freaking cute, you guys. I don't even know why it took me this long to get palettes from them. Because honestly, their palettes are so cute. And every single time I would go on their website, I would always like, you know, add to cart, add to cart. But then I would take it away from the cart because I was like, eh, I don't know. I have too many eyeshadows, blah, blah, blah. Um, but this time that I saw them on sale, I'm like, you know what? It's time. It's time to try Lime Crime eyeshadow. So here I am, um, and I got two palettes. So the first one I got is the Venus 2 palette. It is this one right here, and you guys, look at the packaging. It is so cute. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's, ugh, I don't even have words for it. Seriously, it's just so cute and stunning. Um, has Lime Crime right here, and then in the back it has the name of the palette with, you know, the ingredients down here as well. Um, it's, yeah, I mean, it's vegan and cruelty-free, which is big two thumbs up for me because I'm, I love when brands are cruelty-free. Um, this is the palette, you guys. Oh, look at these shades. They're so beautiful and they're very unique. Honestly, I don't really have anything like this um, in my collection, I don't think. I mean, I pretty much have similar shades, but I don't have nothing exactly like this. So I'm very, very excited. And this is the palette we're going to go for today because I'm wearing like this camo long sleeve. So I feel like kind of camo-y, earthy tones is what this is giving me. So this is going to be perfect for today. This is what we're going to be using today. Um, so I got this and I believe I got them on sale for about $20. And normally I believe they're like $30. And I also picked this one up. You guys, look at this. It's so freaking cute. This is the Venus 3 palette. It is so cute. I just love the freaking packaging, you guys. It's so adorable. Like, I don't even know how the heck I was missing on these babies for so long. I mean, hopefully the shadow quality is really, really good. Because if it is, I'm definitely going to go back and get the other ones that I don't have. Um, and look at this, you guys. Look at this. So cute. Look at the shades. They're so pretty. I'm obsessed. Obviously, this is definitely not the vibe I'm going to go for today, so I'm not going to be using this one today. Ugh, I wish I was, though, because the shades are so cute. So if you guys want me to do a tutorial using this one, then please like my video. That way I know and I can make a tutorial using this. But these are so freaking cute. Like, honestly... I don't even know what took me so long to get them. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention is I know I've been kind of like MIA here and there. I didn't get to tell you guys, but I did pick up one of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Frost Highlighter. I got this one. This one is in the shade Cannery Bling, and it looks like this. You guys, it is so gorgeous. I'm obsessed. Honestly, this is my first ever liquid highlighter. Um... I do have like a cream, I do have some like cream highlighters, but I don't have an actual liquid highlighter. This is my first one ever and I was very excited. I was actually going to pick up the, I think it's like the Peach Goddess, um, I think that's what it's called. I was going to pick that one up, but 
I heard a lot of people talk about the Katarine bling, how it was just like so beautiful and it was just amazing and this and that. So for my first highlighter, liquid highlighter, I just had to pick the one that was like the most popular because I just needed the best one in order for me to like, yes, you know, I like it, I don't like it, whatever, whatever. So at first it was a little tricky for me because I've never really used any liquid highlighter before and I find that using a sponge is the best way to go. So I've been using this and I absolutely love it, you guys. It is bomb. Dot com. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So I don't even know what kind of look I'm going to go for today. Maybe some kind of like, mm, maybe yellowy tones, red tones. I don't know. I kind of really want to try this orange one right here. It's like literally calling my name, but I don't know if it'll go with this. But, you know, we'll see. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to take this shade right here. This one right here is called Mustard. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of mustard in there. And there it is, right there, mustard. It's pretty pigmented. Very nice. So I'm just going to apply this right here. Whoa! That is pretty, pretty pigmented, you guys. Wow. Let's see if they're blendable. I really hope they're blendable because um, these palettes are so cute. So right off the bat, I really, really like this shadow. It's very, very pigmented, which is nice because um, when it's a shade like this one right here, like that mustard one, they're really, really hard to pop in your eye, if you guys know what I mean. Any yellow, any like, you know, pastels, any shades like that, they're always going to be super, super hard to come out. Um, you definitely need like a white base. I didn't even apply any white base. I just used my concealer and it's looking really, really good. It's very pigmented. It blends very well. So I am very impressed. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the same brush and I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. This one's called Jam. I'm just going to apply that right here on the inner corner and then just kind of darken it up right here. So next I'm going to take this uh, Morphe R39 brush and I'm going to go in with the shade um, MASH which is this green one right here and I'm just going to go ahead and swirl it. This one is a little tiny bit, um, I think it has a little bit of shimmers but we'll just see and I'm just going to apply this right here on the corner just to darken it up a little bit. Okay, so for this one, for some reason, I don't think it's like 100% green. It kind of has like a little uh, more of a gray undertone. I mean, it is coming up a little tiny bit green, but it definitely is giving me more of a gray tone than a green tone. Um, but it's still looking really, really nice. I'm not really mad at it. Okay, guys, so that is that. Um... I don't know how I feel about the green one. I feel like the green one is a little tiny bit patchy. Um, and it's not coming out really how it is in the palette. I mean, just a little tiny bit, but I feel like it's still not as pigmented as the other one. Um, I mean, maybe if I pack it on a little bit more, but then it's going to look just kind of weird. Um, but overall, I mean, it's not that bad. I'm just having a little issues with that green one, but it's still looking really, really nice. I kind of like this eye look already. So what I'm going to do is kind of make like a little half, um, half cut crease, and I'm just going to use my Revolution Concealer, and I'm just going to apply a little tiny bit in the back of my hand. And I'm going to take this brush. Um, I don't know what this brush is. It's probably from like Amazon or something like that, but it's just a little concealer brush. And I'm just going to take it a little tiny bit right here and just apply, making making like a little half cut crease right there. Just so we can make a little bit of sparkle and throw in a much lighter shade. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is take my ring finger and I'm just going to pat that in right there. Just 
So next I'm taking this shade right here. This one's called Fly. It's a really nice champagne color and it does have a little bit of green in it. So that's what I'm going to apply right here just to make it a little bit sparkly and make it pop. Oh yeah, this is such a pretty shade. Oh, this is a nice shade, you guys. Wow. Holy Toledo. Wow, 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 wow. I am loving this eye look already. I'm just going to apply this on this side. So next I'm going to go ahead and take um, the same green shade with the same brush. And I'm just going to apply a little bit more just so I can kind of blend it in a little bit. Alright guys, so for eyeliner, I'm going to be using this Tarte Tartese Eyeliner. Um, I really, really like this eyeliner, but I haven't used it in quite a while, so hopefully it's not like completely dry on me. And I'm just going to use this angled brush right here. I don't even know where it's from, but um, we're just going to go ahead and use it. I'm going to go ahead and leave my eyelashes for last. I'm going to go ahead and apply my primer. So for today's primer, I'm going to be using this Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Primer. This is one of my absolute favorite primers out there. And mine's almost gone, so somebody wants to get me some Smashbox Primer, please feel free to go buy me some because... I'm in the need for it. For foundation, I'm going to be using the NYX Cancel Bolsa Foundation. Now, you guys, I know. I made a review about this foundation, and it went a little bit crazy on me. It was very drying, very crazy. It wasn't, like, completely for me during that time because my skin was super, super dry. So, it, like, sucked the living hell out of me. But, honestly, you guys, I think it was the primer that made the foundation look horrible I swear um, I've tried this foundation with my other primers the more moisturizing primers the ones that filled out my pores and everything like that primers like the Smashbox photo finish and this foundation looks amazing so I've been really enjoying this foundation not gonna lie it's it's really really nice and my skin I definitely still think it's more for uh, oily skin to combination skin my skin is, it's usually very, very normal. It sometimes can drastically change from like normal to like really dry or normal to oily. So it's really weird. And when I tried this foundation, my skin was like super, super dry. Um, right now it's normal. Um, I'm still a little bit oily. Like I had to blot right now because my nose area was a little bit oily. So I think it's going to look, I think it's going to work fine today. So, um... Yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on this foundation. I really, really like it. Uh, definitely, I don't recommend the primer. I think the primer is not worth it. I think there's a lot better primers out there that can still make you matte, but not like suck the living moisture out of you. You know what I mean? So for concealer, I'm going to go ahead and use my Revolution Concealer again. I'm just going to apply a little bit right here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but see how it's like almost the shade of my foundation? I mean, it's okay. It's not bad, but I don't feel like since I got the wrong shade, I feel like it doesn't brighten up my under eyes as much. But I love the formula. I'm definitely going to go back to Ulta and get like a lighter shade, one that actually matches me. Alright guys, so I'm not going to go ahead and apply any baking powder under my eyes. I think I'm just going to leave it as is for today. I think my under eyes will be okay. Um, but anyway, so I am going to go ahead and contour today. And I'm going to be using this Geese Face FX Contouring Kit. I actually did receive this by mail for free. The company did contact me um, and they just wanted to reach out to me, see if I were down to try out this product and just give them my thoughts and opinions about what I think about this. Um, so I have been trying this a lot lately just so I can definitely settle my thoughts into this and I actually really, really like it. Um, you know, I never heard of this brand before, so when they contacted me, I was very intrigued. I did a little bit of research on them. I saw a lot of good reviews and this and that, and I was like, hey, 
you know, let's give it a shot. So I went ahead and said yes. They sent me this this um, package and it arrived and I've been using it and I really, really like it. So this is, you know, cruelty free, which you guys already know. I'm a huge fan of any brand that's cruelty free. Um, and this is a very small brand. They're just kind of like branching out. Um, they just saw my Instagram and that's how they contacted me. And I just went scrolling down to their Instagram. I was like stalking them for a little while just finding out a little bit more about the brand and I actually really liked what they stand for and everything like that so I was very excited so I did get this for free um and this is what the uh contouring kit looks like this one is in the the daylight series so they have I think three contouring kits I think one of them is the moonlight and I think this one is definitely the daylight and then there's another one. I think maybe it's the nightlife. I don't even know. But um, they have another one as well. And I just went ahead and I picked the daylight because I felt like it would suit me a little bit more. Um, I definitely love this shade. It's definitely a nice like contouring and it also gives you like a really nice bronzy look. Which I really like. They have you know kind of like a banana powder just to really cut down on that contour or just you know highlight areas. They do come with a very subtle highlighter and then it's a dark uh, contour and a light contour, which I really, really like. Now, I've used this nonstop and honestly, you guys, I really, really like it. Um, I'm not just saying this because they sent me, sent me this for free. If I um, would have thought this was not worth it, I would have probably never even mentioned it here or not even post a picture on my Instagram or whatever. But I honestly really, really like it. I feel like it's a really nice contouring kit. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. So this is the banana shade, as you guys can see. It's very, very pigmented. This is the dark one right here. So I'm just kind of, you know, going to show you. This is a dark one right there. And I have this one, and then, then it's the highlighter. So this is the highlighter right here. This is the light contouring shade. This is the darker one, and then this is the banana shade. They're really, really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them in the back of my hand so you guys can see um, all of it. You know what I mean? So there is the the shades right there. I mean, the highlight is really, really pretty. It's kind of subtle, but you can definitely build it up. The shades are super, super buttery and they're very, very blendable. So yeah, it's a very nice contouring kit. I really, really like it, but I will say this. The banana shade um, highlight, which is this one right here, you gotta be very, very careful because it's super pigmented. The first time I tried it out, I kinda had a little bit tough time blending it in with my actual contour. Like I actually went in ham with all kinds of it, of all kinds of product because it literally picks up a lot of product. And I went with this um, same beauty sponge and I actually carved out my contour so I made like a crazy line and I was just like you know trying to blend it in because I left it on for so long honestly you guys don't even have to leave it on for so long because it'll just kind of like I mean it'll cut it like it'll cut your contour like there's no tomorrow I am serious so you just got to be careful because it's very very pigmented so I'm going to go ahead with my contouring and I'm going to take in the lighter shade and I'm just going to go ahead see see right there it's it's really really pigmented so but I really really like it like it's it's just a nice contouring shade like look at that do you guys see that like it's very very pretty and I actually take it up we're right here just so it can create a little bit of um, a shade. Honestly, you guys, sometimes I even use this as a bronzer because I love the shade so much that it works perfectly for a bronzer shade. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Morphe sponge and I'm going to take the banana shade. I'm just going to go in a little tiny bit. That's all you probably need. And I'm just going to go ahead and carve like that so now you have to go in as quick as you can and then I'm just gonna go ahead and take this brush right here and then just kind of blend it all in I don't even let it set I don't even let it bake that long because you know like like I said you have to be very careful with that banana shade because it's very very pigmented it's hardcore so you don't even need to like let it uh, say for a while what sometimes what I like to do when I like to contour a lot you guys is I like to take a little bit of powder and then just put it right here 
Um, so it can kind of connect with the, the actual contour shade. And I'll just go in really quick. And that's it. And there you have that contour right here. So it's very, I mean, it, it literally sharpens your contour a lot. So if you guys are interested on in checking the brand out, checking the product out, I will leave their website link down below so you guys are interested. Or I will link their Instagram down below because I'm pretty sure their link is on their Instagram. So if you guys are interested, check them out. I feel like they're a really good brand. So... So yeah, so for blush, I'm going to go ahead and take this blush right here. This is the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Blush. This is in the shade Charming. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit and then just apply it on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, so for today's highlighter, I'm going to be using the Liquid Frost by Jeffree Star. This is in the shade Canary Bling once again. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit on the back of my hand. Just like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my beauty sponge and then just kind of like dab it a little bit. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and just apply it. Alright. And then I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little tiny bit on my nose. So one thing I do have to say about this highlighter is that it does have little specks of glitter here and there. So if you guys are not fans of glitter, then I definitely don't recommend this highlighter. I don't think you're going to like it because it does have little specks of glitter. Like I can definitely see them. It's nothing like too, too crazy. It doesn't bother me because I love glitter. So I just feel like it looks really, really stunning. It looks pretty. So I love it, but if you guys don't like glitter, then this might not be suitable for you. I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes off camera, and I will be right back. That way we finish off this look right here with some lipstick. Alright guys, so I went ahead and applied my lashes already. The lashes that I'm wearing today are by Dodo Lashes. They're in the style... D301. They come in a little box that looks like this. I highly recommend their lashes. They're very, very affordable and they're very high quality. I love them. Um, I actually do have an affiliated code. You don't have to use it by all means. Don't use it if you don't want to, but I do have a code which you get like 5% off or something like that. I will leave everything down below so if you guys are interested, you can check them out. They're really good lashes. I highly recommend. Um, but next up... The lips. So for the lips, um, I was actually going through my vanity, checking out all my lipsticks, and I felt like it would only be appropriate if we use a Lime Crime liquid lipstick for today's video because I did use the Venus palette or the Venus 2 palette right here, this baby. So it is from Lime Crime. So I just decided, why not use a liquid lipstick from Lime Crime? So I was going through the collection, and I feel like shroom the shade shroom will definitely go with the earthy tone vibe that i have going on so that's what i'm going to do but first i'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of lip balm using my Burt's bees medicated lip balm one of my favorite lip balms i'm having trouble opening it up but i'm just going to go ahead and moisturize my lips so they're not like super dry or anything i'm going to go ahead and apply my shroom liquid lipstick and hopefully this is a good pick yeah, I think so. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me tutorial type video. I really, really like how this look came out. I think it's very, very cute. And I feel like it's a very perfect for fall. It's very like fall appropriate. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Um, I'm really impressed with the Venus 2 palette. I'm very excited. I'm so happy I finally decided to pick these babies up. And I'm very, very excited to try this one out as well. Again, leave me a comment down below if you guys want me to do a tutorial on this one or just like my video. I don't know. Just let me know. Um, but yeah, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up before you leave. That way I know you guys like these videos and I can keep making them for you guys. But yeah, guys, that is all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!